number one, who Jordan Peterson is, and secondly, what his case before the Ontario Court of Appeal has, it's not appeals there, it's appeal, what it has entailed, and he's lost it. So let me tell you about it, but first, a bottom line notation, and that is that things are worse in Canada. Canada is essentially at this point hopeless. It has it has become so leftist, so woke. Uh, they don't they don't have freedom of speech as enshrined as in in the DNA of the country as we do. Uh, C- Canadians are not generally fighters, uh, uh, and the left has simply won. They have taken over everything. Do you know, I'm going to look this up for real time. This is a subject that is barely covered. And uh, it is the burning of churches in Canada. So let's see, that's only 2021, that's it. Uh, So the CBC, which is... uh, It's CNN on steroids. Seven days ago reports at least 33 Canadian churches have been burned to the ground. Isn't that that amazing? Isn't that amazing that, let me look, let's see. I'm looking for anything in the United States on this issue. Wouldn't you think it would be reported? CBC, Catholic News Agency, True North, this is the order of, of Google, Daily Mail, National Post, which is the, the conservative paper in, the, in Canada, Reddit, here, n- let's see, New, New York Post, the, it, but it's from two and a half years ago, two and a half years ago, that's the last U.S. report I could find, there might be in, in any major source, let's put it that way. U.S. media shamefully justified a string of Canadian church burnings. One day this month, this is 2021, 10 Catholic churches were vandalized in a single day. Calgary, in the last month, arsonists and vandals have attacked dozens of Canadian churches, burning some entirely to the ground. America has 70.5 million Catholics. Canada, with just over a tenth of the population, is close to 3 million. So this is a big story, yet the U.S. media aren't interested in reporting our northern neighbor's plague of church burnings, except to suggest it's understandable. Remember, this is two and a half years ago. It's gotten worse. Imagine if 33 mosques had been burned uh, in Canada. The, the, uh, the uproar, the demonstrations... The attacks followed the discovery of hundreds of unmarked graves near residential schools to which the government sent First Nation children from 1883. First Nation is indigenous people, in, in that's how they're called in, in Canada. So they found hundreds of unmarked graves, but it turns out that this is not accurate. There, it was a report, but it, it turns out, not to, to the best of my knowledge, not to have been true. Ground scanning uncovered an estimated 215 graves at a British Columbia school on May 28th, that's 2021, 751 at a Saskatchewan school June 25th, 182 at another British Columbia site on June 30. The finds were shocking but not surprising. And, and anyway, there was a, uh, the, 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 this does not have whether or not it turns out to be true. But that is the reason, apparently, why whoever is burning churches is burning churches. So, let's see. U.S. press has treated the news as if Canada had been hiding genocidal death camps. So now back to our story. Dozens of churches, and then I'm back, of course, to uh, to Jordan Peterson, because I, I wanted you to understand the, the crisis in Canada. 
And that is the uh, reason. Nearly 100 churches across Canada have been torched or damaged after activists lied. See, that's that's. this is uh, from, let's see, this is three days ago. This is the update. It turns out that those unmarked graves were not about uh, bad things done to indigenous peoples in Canada. Nearly 100 churches across Canada have been torched or damaged after activists lied that 200 indigenous children were buried under Catholic schools. In 2021, a horrific story swept the internet. That's what I just read to you. As an indigenous group in Saskatchewan claimed to find 751 unmarked graves under the Maryville Indian Residential School, weeks after 215 children were supposedly discovered under another school in British Columbia. The schools were run by Christian churches, largely Catholic, and sought to eliminate their students' indigenous culture so they could assimilate into Canadian society. However, excavations carried out last year failed to turn up any evidence of bodies, and most experts, isn't that amazing? The whole thing was a lie? Even I didn't know the extent of the lie. There was no evidence of bodies. Most experts concluded that claims of mass graves were exaggerated. At the same time, the excavations failed for the past two years. At least 96 churches have been burned, vandalized, or destroyed, seemingly in retaliation, with phrases smeared on the walls including, Where are the children? The, the left can do anything it wants. Imagine if right-wingers, again, had burned three, three mosques, not a hundred. Or to a lesser extent, synagogues. The, the outcry about mosques would have been greater than about synagogues. The root cause of the apparent hoax stems from the early 19th to 20th centuries when tens of thousands of indigenous children were ripped from their families and placed at residential boarding schools across Canada. Many, many suffered abuse and so on, okay, which is terrible, uh, obviously. So this is the, uh, the, the reason that this is, uh, this is happening in Canada. You don't know about it. And I'm, I'm only giving you this story so you'll understand how, uh, how bad things are in Canada if, if you are not a leftist. So Jordan Peterson it was told by the psychology, uh, let's see, the, the College of Psychologists of Ontario, he will lose his license as a, he's a professor of psychology or was at the University of Toronto and a, a rather worldwide acclaimed psychologist at that. College of Psychologists of Ontario said, you'll lose your license if you don't go for re-education because he believes, among other things, that men cannot become women. And that makes you incapable of being a psychologist in the province of Ontario. So he has appealed to the, the court in Ontario, which, without comment, they three nothing against him. Jordan Peterson said the war has barely started after he lost his bid to have the courts. Uh, I'll read to you actually what he wrote. Why don't I read it straight to you? Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. A higher court in Canada has ruled that the Ontario College of Psychologists, indeed, these are his words, Jordan Peterson's words, A higher court in Canada has ruled that the Ontario College of Psychologists indeed has the right to sentence me to re-education camp. There are no other legal avenues open to me now. It's capitulate to the petty bureaucrats and the adult-pated woke mob or lose my professional license. Congratulations, CP Ontario. You won this round. Mark my words, however, the war has barely started. 
There's nothing you can take from me that I'm unwilling to lose, so watch out. Seriously, you've been warned.